A situation analysis of adolescent pregnancy in Guyana was today handed over to First Lady Sandra Granger and Minister of Public Health Walter Lawrence. Delicia Haynes has the details. The document was compiled through a collaborative effort between the Ministry of Public Health, the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, and the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA. The two main objectives were identifying the determining factors of adolescent pregnancy and prioritizing interventions to address same. Minister of Public Health Walter Lawrence said the document will inform policymakers of their roles in addressing the spiraling issue of adolescent pregnancy. Today, the launching of this survey, I will say, is timely, particularly since this is a growing global concern, not only for us here, but for our leaders, because this matter is discussed at the very highest level. The focus and theme for this year is precisely a call on health personnel around the world to marshal their energies on this vulnerable group. Similar sentiments were echoed by First Lady Sandra Granger, who also commended the efforts of the Public Health Ministry and other partnering agencies in reintegrating teenage mothers into society. According to the First Lady, data collected during the compiling of the document can be very useful to all concerned stakeholders. These facts lead me to believe that the situation analysis being presented here today may be a useful tool in determining how government agencies, the private sector, community faith-based and other non-governmental organizations can combine their respective resources and develop the kind of strategies and framework through which their efforts at reducing adolescent pregnancy and empowering our young people to make informed life cho choices may be achieved. Findings of the situation analysis indicate that there were higher rates of teenage pregnancies in indigenous communities. Factors related to these high rates include sexual violence, lack of access to comprehensive sex education, and the lack of access to and use of contraceptives, to name a few. For InfoHub, Delicia Haynes.